Steve Large is live in Chico with what that scene looks like. Steve? And this is a small city that's being assembled on a corner of the Chico Airport. You can see a long line of tractor trailers lined up, some from as far away as Texas carrying supplies. This place is operating 24 hours a day. It is an inside look at the campfire disaster response, a staging area where thousands of supplies are now on hand, waiting to be delivered to campfire victims upon request. This is a, a major disaster. That's the only way you can put it. Mark Ackerman is the supervisor here. I'm told that there are people staying in a Walmart parking lot. Would you deliver to a Walmart parking lot where people are finding shelter? If the SOC gives me a mission, to deliver to the moon, I'm buying a rocket ship. The SOC, or State Operations Center, directs supplies here to go to any shelter, law enforcement agency, church, or nonprofit that requests it. What we got here are blankets. These are N95 masks. There are 80 tractor trailers lined up side by side with blankets, masks, cots, and food. Another example of the sheer size of this operation is these massive tents that are now going up. These are the tents that will be housing the responders all coming here. Each one of these tents will be holding 10 responders. These walls will be home to the first wave of 200 people assigned to help survivors of the campfire get signed up for disaster relief. I don't sleep in a hotel at a disaster. That hotel room is for a survivor. A wildfire disaster destroying a community frighteningly fast. Ground support command. Now this effort for a rapid response. I should point out that the Campfire Disaster Recovery Center opens on Friday. People needing anything from FEMA aid to a new California driver's license can go and sign up. That's going to be open at 1982 East 20th Street in Chico, and that is the old Sears store. Steve Large in Chico for us tonight.